What's, What's going up, on, everyone? Hey, welcome. I'm Taylor. This is Josh. And That's we me. are so stoked to be with you in the online world. Here we um, are. Today, we're chatting about all things love and love. romance and how we met. Yes. How we became high school sweethearts. Taylor and I will have been married for four years come this Wednesday, which is crazy to me. I feel kind of like an old man. But uh, it all started nearly 10 years ago. That's crazy. We've known each other for 10 years. 10 years, Taylor. 10 years. 10 years. And so we were 14 and I remember I just moved. Well, we're going to have a bit of story time. That's the whole purpose of this video, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, That's what we're about gonna to do. tell you how we met, how we fell in love, all that fun stuff. So you want me to tell the story and yeah, you just jump in? Yeah, we'll ju- I'll jump in. Right. Or we'll see. We'll see what we'll happens. We'll see what happens. See what happens. See what happens. So we were fourteen. I had just moved from Melbourne to the Gold Coast, and I was starting at a brand new school. And I remember the first day. Do you remember when we met? Well. See, we've already got some disagreement here. I feel like you have a different story to what I have. So you tell yours and then I'll tell mine. Well, my buddy's there. He was the first guy that I met at the school that I was starting to go to. He kind of took it upon himself to be my tour guide and was walking me all around the school. Um, And I remember walking up to a grass field where there was a bunch of girls sitting there and there was Taylor. And I remember going up and meeting them. And then Taylor gave me a white flower uh, as a gift to me. And I was like, man, she already likes me. Okay. If you know me at all, you know, I am not giving a strange boy a white No, it was, it was like a friendly gesture. Like, I think you're well, well, welcome. welcome to the school. Here's a white flower. Yeah, it's a no, nice thing to do. I remember meeting Josh on the staircase and with his buddy Zeb and... Uh, we need to put a picture of Zeb on We this. do. There, there. Zeb somewhere. Um, and I remember meeting him and you were super tall and everybody was commenting about Still this am. crazy tall guy that was new. And I remember Josh had super curly hair. So it was like out here, yep. like out here. It was a wild. <laughs> and I remember thinking, he's a nice guy. I remember shaking your hand. And then we went into class and we actually had a lot of classes together. We did. We spent I think a we, long time we ended up sitting next to each other in grade nine maths. And I remember... Always saying to people, you never know who you're going to sit next to in grade nine math class. So I remember sitting next to you there. <laughs> and then um, we, I remember talking to Taylor on MSN Messenger. Taylor was... was what kind is of, MSN Messenger? Uh, for all those who don't know, it's like pre-Facebook, pre-MySpace. It's like pre-Facebook chat. It was pretty it's much like just like you chat and I'll go home from school and we'll chat with Taylor. So you have to get each other's email addresses well, so you can I remember add your email others. address. It was... If you do, I'll be so impressed. I remember yours. Little sweetie, peep, pie pie, peep, sweetie, sweetie pie, little sweetie, little sweetie yes, pie. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. What was the numbers? I don't know. How okay, whatever. Why so did you? I don't know. So <laughs> Why did we you? we chatted on MSM Messenger. And I remember my mum was suspicious of this girl that I was talking to. <laughs> because you were online all the time. <laughs> I was, but time out. And then, oh. I don't know, I got distracted, probably like some other girls in between. Taylor and I were friends through high school. We yeah. were in the same classes a lot. We were, we were. Uh, I remember Taylor we had a was very group. loud in school, which he no. still is. <laughs> Honestly, all my report cards said Taylor is very, she's an active talker yes. and is very social. Taylor was and a was suck true. up to the teachers. I was but not a suck yes, up. Yes, you were. You no, did all like it. the school dramas, the school plays, the school captains, yeah. all these well, things. She was a good student. And I was just like to play sport, hang out with the boys. And I wasn't very good at math. You were, you just didn't apply yourself. It's still true today. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't a very good student when it came to academia because I didn't really academia. enjoy it. academia. And uh, what else are we saying in this story? Um, Do you want to say how we started having feelings for each other? Sure. So it's, it was Taylor's 16th birthday party. I didn't have feelings for her. She didn't have feelings for me. No. You did? I'm I agreeing. Think. I don't. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't. And, no feelings. <laughs> and... <laughs> Taylor and I have been hanging out this uh, Taylor and I had been hanging out this party and it came to the time in the party where you take photos everyone oh, has those moments you go cheese cheese and I remember thinking man Taylor's pretty cool she's looking good and then I said Taylor let's get a photo together so we go to take a photo 
and I put my arm around Taylor like this. And then at the moment when we we're about to take the photo, my buddy ah. Zeb, who introduced us, decided he wanted to get in on the photo. And I did something that I'll never forget. So I, I said, hey, come here. No. And then, but no, he was on this side. Ah. And I pushed him, his chest and pushed him out of the frame of the photo. I was like, when I did that, I was like, electricity came inside me. I was like, who's this angel? And that was the oh. moment when I started having feelings for Taylor. I like something about pushing a guy out of the way for Taylor. And, uh, and we then I you. went we home you right here. and I told the guys that I was like, man, Taylor's awesome. I Did like you say that night? Hmm? Did you tell everybody that night? I told my close friends. Yeah. That night. Yeah. I was crazy. But then Taylor didn't have feelings for me at all. Mm -mm, and no. uh, for about six months, I was like a borderline stalker of Taylor. That is true. Remember I was telling you about MSN Messenger? <laughs> that was Josh's stalking tool. So every night he would go. Just waiting like this keyboard Just... warrior, ready to talk to Taylor. <laughs> That's when it was expensive to call people on the phones too. And I don't think we yeah, had. Mum and dad wouldn't let us talk. I don't think them. we even had mobile phones. No. We didn't, did we? No. Or you did, but you had to have a credit. Texting, and that was expensive. It was expensive. Yeah. So, it, yeah. Different age. So, I would sit on wait for that green light to appear. I'd see it. I'd be like, boom. Hey, Taylor. How you doing? Boom. Hey, Taylor. How you doing? Like every single day. And then one day, Taylor just stopped appearing on MSN. And I remember Josh saying to me at school, that's so strange. You're never online anymore. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know. Just, you know, super busy with homework because I'm, you know, trying to be that good student. But I legitimately would spend hours on the computer just waiting for Taylor to come <laughs> online because I had such strong feelings for her. And then I remember somebody overheard me say to you, yeah, I'm just not online often. And they just said, you just lied. You were online last night. And I said, yeah, I actually blocked Josh because he is so annoying. That's and true did somebody love. tell you that I blocked you? Uh, probably, but I was so dumb and naive and in love that it didn't matter to me because I just kept the pursuit going. I remember I kept asking Taylor to go on these walks after school with me to this mountain to look at the view because I thought it would be romantic. Like, and what did I, was, I say? No, no. She kept making these excuses, had to study all this stuff, but I just didn't take no for an answer for literally for it's about true. six months. Closer I was like, to a year. Yeah, honestly, probably yeah. a year. Where I was pursuing Taylor and she just didn't want thought, to talk to me at all. I thought, does he not get the hint? Like, I am not interested. Then, and then what uh, happened? I don't know. I can't even remember how it shifted. I remember I sent a text message to oh, yeah. Lani, Taylor's best friend, yeah. saying, I can't believe why Taylor doesn't like me. She, I'm a nice guy. Like, she's good for me. I love Jesus. Like, please, why doesn't she like me? But I did the fatal thing and I text and sent it to Taylor not Lani, and that was like the moment where I wanted to die. Whereas I, I like, just thought it was funny. To I was like me, confessing I was like, ah. my Why Because I already like knew me? that he it was felt pretty this obvious. way. I wasn't so a very Josh was like, criminal. oh my gosh, Taylor knows I like her. I was like, man, I knew six months ago. Like, true. really? I remember once sitting with a friend, and I remember saying, man, Josh is like, honestly, everything I want in a guy. He is incredible, and I'm so excited for the girl that he gets to be with. But it's just not me. And I remember my friend challenged me and said, why don't you just give him a go? She she was like a really trusted friend. And I remember thinking, this is crazy. She never usually recommends to, you know, go out with any guy. So I thought, you know what? I'm just, it has been a long time of saying no. I'm just going to say yes and see what happens. And we were in like our last year of high school. And so towards the end. And I remember thinking, you know what? Yeah, sure. Let's go out. Let's see what happens. But Taylor and I both had never had a, well, I never had a girlfriend and she'd never had a boyfriend no, before. No, so this was our, our first, first time. time. And so she let me take her out on a few dates and it was probably still another three months of us like spending time together till yeah. she really had feelings for me. I remember yeah. one time I looked at Taylor in the eyes and I said, we're on the beach. It was at night time. It was really romantic. The stars were out. And I said, I love you. And then she said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like the first time we hung hey, out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go-getter. <laughs> Did you mean it? Yeah. So yeah, Josh was crazy romantic. And I don't think I appreciated it at the time. Because the love doctor. Now, I mean, it is just wild to look back on that. I wasn't even thankful. I honestly just thought you were... A bit crazy. I was. So like, <laughs> let me give you a few examples and let me see if you remember them. So this one time, Josh came at probably like 11 p.m. He drove to my house. I didn't have my license. He couldn't so I got even. Someone else he couldn't to drive even me. drive. So somebody else drove him. What a great friend. And they put chocolate in my letterbox and like 
put letters in the chocolate. Josh did. And I texted her and saying, text come outside. And he texted me saying, come outside, there's something in your mailbox. It took about 45 minutes to come outside. I didn't realise he was outside. So I had like my bathrobe on, my hair up in a bun. And I remember walking out to the letterbox, opening it and seeing my favourite chocolate. The fact that it was chocolate, A, you get a star. The fact that it was my favourite chocolate, you get two stars. Oreo. And... And so I remember getting it out and thinking, sweet, I've got chocolate for the night and then just eating it and not even really acknowledging you. And I'm sorry. That's all right. And little did I know Josh was watching from his car the whole, the whole time. time. Little, but... little stalkerish, little stalkerish. So we, we, uh... what else did you do? I don't know. I drew, yeah. I drew love hearts on her driveway early in the morning after football training one time. Yeah. I don't know. I was crazy about it. You and filled I my had no locker filter. with love hearts. Someone that opened my locker at school, all these love heart like little pieces of paper would fly out. So You're that's, a good that fan. was the high school life. But yeah. yeah, so we started dating our last year of high school. Yeah. And uh, we uh, held it hands. Was fun. That was the first time I ever held hands with a girl. Just like this. First ever kiss with, with Taylor. Yes. And, uh, and it was just like that. Yeah, it was like a grandma kiss. Yeah. <laughs> but we are uh, dated and then uh, we got engaged, got married and... Had a kid. No, that's not in the story yet. <laughs> <laughs> and now we live in Anderson, South Carolina. Crazy. So How we, did we end up in Anderson, South Carolina, USA? No, no one knows. We're still trying to figure it out, but... <laughs> you don't have any clue. Well, this video is about our high school story. It's not about oh. us moving to America. But that's kind of it. We we started as friends. We yeah. had a huge, really good friendship base. We did. I we remember like honestly friends. thinking Josh is the closest guy friend I have. Oh, he sweet. is incredible. He is going to bless whoever gets to date him. And, and I now remember, I get to bless you, babe. Uh, oh, yes. And I remember being kind of jealous at the thought of you know, another girl getting Josh, but I just thought, nah, he's, he's not for me, but he was, and I'm so glad you pursued me. And then I put a and ring so, on it. Yes, Check out that ring, yes. like, boys, young men, this is the kind of ring Oh, you, you should tell that there. story of how you propose. No, that's we totally video. missed that. Isn't this our love story? No, I feel like it's more meeting, but I Oh, this just... is how we met. Yeah, we, we've got more videos to make. Okay. Next one. Stay tuned. But hey, that's kind of our story. We were really good friends. We got... Started dating yep. and now we're married. But yeah, and well, four years. Should we make a video on our fourth year anniversary? Yeah, we will. Yeah. But what's your one encouragement before we finish about dating? Um, one encouragement was two people. It was so worth the wait. Like I know that we started dating young. Um, and to be honest, I never really wanted a high school sweetheart. I think that was part of me that was like, no, 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 no. Like I'm an independent girl. I'm so happy. I'm so content. Um, which I was and I remember there was like multiple times even through high school with with other guys that I felt like it would have been really easy just to jump in a relationship here jump in a relationship there and I'm just so thankful that I had great friends and great kind of mentors encouraging me to just kind of wait for for a guy that I felt um, like God had for me and a guy that respected the same things I did was headed in a similar direction had the same values and honestly it was like the best thing um I could have asked for was to wait for a guy that really did treat me well, that respected me, that my parents loved. Um, so I'm so thankful for the wait and for great friends speaking into my world during that season. I think a big thing that I, I look back on our relationship is like, I'm super thankful that we were really good friends before we started dating. And I think that has now carried yeah. through to our marriage is like Taylor is legitimately my best friend. And oh. dating isn't just something cool to do in high school. Like I honestly recommend to most people don't date yeah. in high school. Like if we had our time again, we probably would have waited even more. Um, but yeah. honestly, like being best friends and even in school, like we yeah. just honestly try to keep and look throughout our relationship. Like we're just still really good friends. Yeah. Like we're not exclusive, not hanging out with any yeah. other people. Like we were just friends with everyone. Taylor was my best friend. And yeah, I think yeah. we now get to reap the benefits of not having been in multiple relationships, but Taylor's my first ever girlfriend, my first yeah. ever kiss, first girl I held hands with. And I'm super thankful that, that she's the only girl that I've ever been with. Yeah, that's and, great. Uh, so I guess that's uh, as corny as it sounds. That's how we became high school sweethearts. Yeah. 
So I hope you guys like this video. We're gonna make some more videos coming up, isn't that right, Taylor? We are. I'm so excited about it too. What do they need lots to do? Of fun. Um, you need to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date. Good plan. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you guys and in the next video. Leave some comments so we can get to know you too. Tell us how you met or uh, what your life looks like. Alright, see All you guys right, later. See ya. Love ya. Peace. Bye.